Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at bait needles and bait loaders and how you can make them for very little cost using 316 stainless steel welding rods. I'm a big fan of bait needles as a whole purely because I use them all the time. Um, bait needles, bait loaders and dual needles. I tend to use dual needles quite a lot and where I find these particularly useful is when you're going to cocktail a bait where you're going to use more than one kind of bait and then elastic it together or if I'm using particularly with these two sand deals. So if you prepare two sand deals and put them side by side on a needle like that it's very easy to elasticate them together. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how I'm baiting up with um, two small sand deal. So sand deal I've got are only small so the first thing I do is I cut out the gills and then cut pretty much across the eyes like that and then only take a small piece off the tail. The same again for the other one. Just cut out the gill covers across the eyes exposing the head and then just a little tiny piece off the tail and then it's a case of threading the sand eel onto one of the needles head first onto it and then a second sand eel onto the other needle through the stomach cavity all the way down and then line them up together and you end up with two sand deal side by side like that get your bait elastic I like to start at the head end take a couple of turns and then lash the head end together with a few extra wraps and then work your way down the body try and keep them nice and in alignment and down to the tower end and I take a couple of extra turns down the tower end and then back up to the middle of the body and then I just snap it off okay so uh, it's a case of taking your panel set up these are 2 Camasan Aberdeen style hooks and where you doubled up at the head end just feed it through and back on itself and I lay the hook between the two sand deal and take a couple of turns line everything up it says as it sticks to his fingers take a couple of turns and start whipping whip around where the eye of the hook is and down to the hook end, careful not to um, cover over the hook point itself, work your way up and whip the line up the centre between the two sand deal. just dress the hook and then you take your panel hook and where you did the extra whippings just tighten it all up in position there. And what I also like to do is just put a little bit of elastic around that just to make sure that it doesn't slip and turn. And I've got both hooks facing the same way there but you can choose to have them the same way or you can go opposites. Now the last cast I had out the bait came back fully intact and it hadn't been touched and a little bit of variation but that is how I put two sand deal on with a panel setup 
I'm going to clip that up and get that back out. But what I'm going to show you now is how I make and how I use my own. Um, and without any real delay, get straight into it and start making. So, simple wheel nut, hexagonal end, threaded end. It doesn't have to be a wheel nut, it could be anything pretty much of the same sort of size. I'd suggest something with the end with a diameter of about 10mm and just put that into a vise and that's positioned in there. Take your wire and I've marked the centre of the wire just with a, a sharpie and locate that onto the bolt and take a turn around the bolt to the point where it will physically cross over and you end up with that shape that starts to form the basis of your twin bait needle that you can open out now with a pair of round nose pliers. So literally just use the wheel nut to use to form the wire around dead smack in the middle and then it's a case of with your round nose pliers start to open it up when you start to open it up think about the shape and form and size of bait that you might want to use them for and while you're doing it it's very easy to um, adjust and make changes until you get to the shape that you want and just dress the wire up a little bit Play around with the shape so it's exactly what you want. And there you have it a bait needle with two parallel, two parallel loaders, really. So perfect for loading dual sand eel or making cocktail baits and again it's a little bit more difficult you could argue that it's probably worth putting the um, grinding the points on before you tr um, form the shape because now it's a little bit difficult to rotate on the grinding wheel but then there's other you could file them or you could use um, like a, a little cut like a little hobby disc or something like that so just a slight different angle to help show with forming the bends for the bait loader using a pair of round nose pliers 316 stainless steel it's a simple case of locating the steel wire in the pliers taking a turn almost completely all the way round like that put them back in and now you're going to just bring it back on itself to form like a question mark. And you form the question mark like that. Okay. So, for the next aspect, obviously, that is where your hook is going to locate. So, keeping that line nice and parallel put into a pair of normal standard pliers and keep that question mark flat and pl parallel with the rest of the pliers bend it 90 degrees or just slightly over and then open it up again so you end up with that shape you've got a nice 90 degree bend and if you turn it over you can see you've got your question mark Okay. Place it, the wire back into the pliers again, and this time, if that's going straight down, and you locate the pliers here, you're going to go parallel to the first line that you made. So again, over bend it slightly, and then open it back up, and just a little bit of dressing. So you end up when you rotate it, you've got your question mark at the top that the hook locates in, 
and then you've got your two 90 degree bends and then you've got the bait needle okay cut to length to what you feel is necessary for what you want and then the other thing that you can do with that now is grind that end to a point so once you've ground a point onto your bait loader that's the bait loader complete I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Bye for now.